Uh. Hey guys, uh, got the cars here, and Jackass right there. Fuck hey, me. Um, yeah, what we're gonna be doing is reinstalling my BC coilovers on the A6. Yes, but it was interrupted by Senior Jackass. That's my boss. I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but um yes yes i said reinstalling okay um unfortunately i am a dumbass and crashed my 86 and bent all rear suspension on the driver's side but as you can see new rear subframe new low control arms upper control arms uh yeah tension rods everything all brand new and back on so she's running now i'm gonna reinstall the coilovers because i got wheels and uh i am probably gonna film that part tomorrow but this is part one of 860 version 860. version one yeah that's the code for this yeah, the special edition. But yeah, hopefully this thing will look mint. Mint. So here, what he's doing right now, he's taking off that sway, uh, sway bar end link um, to the coil. Ooh, bitch. Anyways, he already took this one out, this top bolt, and took out the bottom one. They're both 19 millimeter. Um, you have to get a hex size six for this. And a size 14 for the inner uh, bolt, or yeah, yeah then, then that nut. That nut, yeah. And then for these ones right here, what you want to do for these retainer clips, um, this, these just come off easy. Um, this one though, you see this white dot right here? You have to stick a flathead through there, and then it should come off. But uh, that doesn't really matter anymore because um, I somehow just pop it out. out. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time, so that's why it came out so easy. So, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much all you do is 19, 14, and a hex, and the top nuts up uh, on the top which is size 12, and then uh, this brake line right here. The retainer clip. Yeah. And yeah, that's it really. It's pretty easy. And then we'll show you, we'll record afterwards when we get the new ones on, on the front, and then also when we're taking off the rears. Alright, so notice uh, how I didn't take this one off just yet because I wanted to balance. Um, before um, uh, moving on because um, I still need to take out the ABS line and the brake line. So once you got that off and then you got your... Um, sorry. Uh, once you got your uh, ABS, I mean not ABS, what the fuck, your sway bar end link off, uh, you can pop this one off. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Once you got everything off, you know, the knuckles, the sway bar end link, ABS line, brake line off, then you wanna to wanna to move up to the top and get these 12 millimeter nut off and it should be off. Oh shit. That's <laughs> 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 yeah. Chupacabra. Just like that, the first uh, strut, shock, whatever, is off. Um, and then, yeah, what you wanna do is uh, vice versa of what the opposite thing that I just did to take it off. And let's see here. Uh, Front right, nope, that's not it. Front left, here you go. Ah, right. uh, you're going back in, baby. Ooh, a little dusty, I should have cleaned you off. Oh, well. all right. Uh, what I noticed while uh, trying to line up the fronts is, um, you know, when you're trying to line the knuckle up to the coils. Uh, what I do is put I put the top on first. It just makes it a lot easier. It just lines up everything, and then I put the bottom one second. And um, well, it also helps having a lift. But uh, if you don't have a lift, um, having like at least like two jacks uh, would help a lot. So one can you know balance here, and then one can support the car, and then of course safety first. Um, have jack stands all around. But yeah. Yeah, I just I just use a jack stand to line it up, and yeah, the other one's already on, but yeah, I just wanted to uh, include that. 
Got some new techie lug nuts from System Motorsports. Shout out. Um, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I have I still have to put on uh, my uh, stock wheels. But uh, part two of this video, uh, you'll see different wheels on this. Can you can anyone guess what wheels I got for the 86? Woo! This girl's gonna look so good. And sorry about uh, yeah the previous clips of this video. Um, uh, I didn't talk loud enough. I just previewed uh, some of the videos, and uh, I I was talking pretty uh pretty weak, so I forgot uh, the audio. I'm using my iPhone to record this, so yeah, I'll try to speak louder from now on. But yeah, uh, the fronts are on. Now time to do the rears. Yee. I used uh, to do the fronts, uh, just a regular size 19 millimeter uh, half inch socket and a 12 millimeter half inch socket and then you know you got your 19 wrench just a regular uh, 3 8 uh, ratchet with a 12 in it and this is for the sway bar end link uh, size shut the fuck up <laughs> size uh, 6 millimeter um, allen key and a 17 i think yeah 17 wrench and a flathead for the abs lines to take them off but yeah these are the tools i pretty much use to take off the fronts and to put them on and uh well you know just got a mallet just for you know you need some extra force to get stuff out but Woo! look at look at them bcs looking nice all right time to do the back yes. But I'm not gonna put this on my own shit. But I am putting on a little bracket for my intercool mount, intercooler, a little intercooler mount. It's gonna go uh, right up to there. Uh, I'm not too worried. I mainly want to just get it. Yeah, it's gonna be right about there. I'm not too worried about this being bent. I'm gonna heat it up later and just make it flat with this. It's gonna just be temporary. Um, just gonna see how it holds up for a while. Uh, I am gonna, you know, of course, doing the motor swap. But, I don't want my fucking uh, intercooler just to be hanging on my headlights, especially when I do the S15 front. So I just cut up a little piece of metal, getting it aligned. Now I'm just going to tack it on. And then it's going to be bolted to this just because it's aluminum. You can't weld steel to aluminum. Yeah, alright, here's Ariel back. Yeah. Alright, uh, quick tip. Uh, don't be a dumbass and hold your, hold your tools with... Um, some force because uh, my fucking finger decided to hug my fucking lower control arm. Ouch. But yeah, hold your tools firmly or you will suffer the consequences. I'm being serious. Ow. Uh, uh, watching the rest of the game, the Warriors game. Um, yeah, so I think that was two hours not bad i mean i think i did worse than the first time <laughs> um sorry i didn't record that much for the rears uh getting my finger caught and stuff shit folks getting my finger caught was not part of the plan just uh really pissed me off but uh, in the rears uh all you need is a 17 half inch millimeter socket and a 14 uh, half inch millimeter socket also one for the uh, strut itself and one for the sway bar end link sorry you can't even see how did welding go bud <laughs> all right no, no gas no gas involves welder so <laughs> it ain't <laughs> that shit was fun it didn't go so well for Travis, but for me, <laughs> all I had to wait now are my fucking wheels and she should look at least decent. Yeah. Now you go. You'll have a clean car. Ah, fuck me. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, yeah, once you get these nuts off and then the three nuts, uh, the 14 millimeter nut uh, on top, um, pretty much uh, it would really uh, help if you have a friend to uh do this with you but um yeah pretty much just wiggle it around like step on the rotor right here wiggle 
until uh, you get enough space uh, and, and then wiggle it around and then uh, at the same time try to get the strut out um, yeah um, what would also make it easier if, uh, if you took this off also this is also a 17 millimeter um, nut the one that connects to the knuckle yeah that that also makes it easier but you know if you don't if you're too lazy and just want to take off these two right here then yeah i'd suggest you know having a friend with you because it would make it a lot easier and then putting it back on vice versa you know uh put it on oh and um i noticed something that i found it easier uh connecting the sway bar end link first before um putting uh the strut itself in so yeah and um yeah and of course if you don't have a lift okay i guess the wires are doing good um if you don't have a lift you know uh have at least two jacks with you and uh jack stands uh, jack stands all around for safety but yeah um uh, use the other jack stand to pretty much line it up um when you're putting in the strut or coil over fuck sorry i'm tired and my finger fucking hurts okay all right uh let's cut to the video where i put on the wheels ah! all the way to my work and because uh, I need her car so my new wheels are getting mounted today for the H6 yeah um, yeah you guys are gonna have to see what they look like after they're done being mounted but oh fuck um, yeah it's gonna look dope it's gonna be dope I'm pretty excited so yeah just wait and see <laughs> yes so get to the place we're at Motorsport Techniques. Um, they're doing my tires and my wheels right now. And me and my girl, we're just chilling pretty much. Kind of getting hungry, but getting Korean barbecue later. But yeah, my wheels are getting mounted on right now. And then after that, go back to the shop real quick and throw them puppies on. See how they look. Wait. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, I ruined it. Alright, here's the whales. Woo! Woo! Japan power. God damn. Sheesh. Unfortunately, I don't have time to adjust with the height right now, but. All I can say is I'm so happy right now. Okay, what do you, you think? should have seen him jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing that. <gasps> Sheesh. Oh my god. 860 V1. Like 50% complete of how I want her to look. And she looks so much better. Made the car look a lot meaner. Can't explain how happy I am right now. Like, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> 